I guess to call you guys uh, proud of what your son has has accomplished here has got to be an understatement. Yeah, it sure is. It's uh, it's uh, unbelievable. It's still very surreal. Uh, we still try to kind of grasp it all. It's just kind of been a whirlwind uh, week for us getting ready to, to go after we got the news. And uh, yeah, yeah, so it's uh, I don't know if it's going to kick in until we're actually there. We yeah. were still dealing with uh, that he's in the MLS, and now this is uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable. But what, where were you guys in March when that call was made? When what we just heard when you found out your son is going to the World Cup? Um, so it was on Remembrance Day, and uh, we were home, almost going to bed, waiting for the call, and uh, it came in. And let's just say we didn't get a lot of sleep that night because we were so excited. <laughs> I guess you didn't, eh? Um, and and Trent, your reaction when you heard the news? Uh, well, I was, was the same. We were said we were getting ready for bed because of the time change. So we didn't, uh, you know, we kind of didn't know if we were going to hear that night or not. He said he, we were, he was going to probably know. But, uh, yeah, we uh, it was very emotional. I can say that. It was, uh, you know, it was kind of a, a dream that, you know, as a parent, you know, you always strive and tell your kids that they could, you know, live their dreams. And, uh, and it was, uh, yeah, just it, when it happened, it was... Yeah, it was uh, very emotional. I can say, just very emotional. And and what did uh, what was the conversation like when you spoke to him after that? When he found out that Team Canada would be going to the World Cup? Yeah. So he oh. just we just found out on November 11th that he was going. He's going to be so part of the squad. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And yeah. so it was you know we're we're planning this trip in eight days, but uh, yeah, you know his words, I'm going to the World Cup, and then <laughs> you just never think you're going to hear those words. <laughs> That must be just wild for a parent to hear, really, when you think about that. Totally. Yeah, well, it was also, he, you know, he hasn't been, you know, going through the qualifications either. So it was, uh, you know, he'd kind of been in, always on the outside. He'd been to you know, four or five camps, but had never played and actually never, never even received his first cap until uh, this this last, uh, uh, was the, the 11th was his first cap. So uh, to going from, uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know, didn't really know and then to, being on the team was, uh, yeah, it was mm. uh, incredible to hear. Uh, Vicky, Canada's first game is against Belgium on Wednesday. Uh, I don't want to say too much about the competition, but what conversations have you been having with Joel, and how is he feeling? That's more Trent's uh, area. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Trent? Yeah. I just cheer on, and then they talk all the technical stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, you know, they, they are in a very tough, uh, tough group, and it's going to be... Um, you know, it's going to be very tough for them, but uh, you know, I'm um, I feel a lot better after watching them play against Japan yesterday. They looked very good, and and uh, J- Japan's a top twenty nation in soccer too. So, and they've been to many World Cups. So, um, I, uh, I I'm feeling a lot more positive. I really after yesterday's game. So I'm uh, you know they're going to be they're going to be competitive, and then when if anytime you're competitive, there's always a chance. Um, well, that's true, and they're there, which is, you know, um, is that chance, I guess, to be competitive. Um, yes. And and Trent, I understand that you and Vicky began coaching Joel on how to play soccer when he was very young. What are your memories of playing soccer with him? Uh, yeah, it was actually Vicky was his first coach uh, at uh, U five and six, I think it was, and then uh, then I looked after him for two years after that, and then. Uh, then after that, obviously he got he got uh, too be- too good for us to ever coach. Him. So uh, you know, so he had to, we had to let some people that really knew what they were doing to uh, take over from there. So Vicky, you were with him at a very young age. Then when there is a point, like did he just do something uh, amazing for a kid his age? And you went, hmm, wait a minute. Yes. So in Alder Grove, it's such a small town that boys and girls play together. So he's got a twin sister. Hi, Kaylee. And so I coached them together. And like our first game, he went out and he could just take the ball from anybody at any time and just go down and score. So I was like, okay, I have to change my my coaching tactics here and go, now you've got to share that feeling and pass the ball so your teammates can get that feeling as well. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's the hard part I, when you get really little kids playing soccer I always called it amoeba ball because it's like the ball is in the middle and it's just this blob of children around the ball exactly <laughs> the swarm of blues we used to call it <laughs> yeah exactly and, and so how how did you Vicky how did you manage to get him to pass the ball to somebody else I think he grasped basically he was so coachable so it's like whatever we told him we needed him to do he could do and uh not knowing, you know, in a little town that, okay, he's good in our town, but how is he going to fare in the next big town? And he just kept showing us that uh, that his dream 
was still there and uh look at him now <laughs> wow trent is this a big deal in alder grove very very popular right now <laughs> it's a, bad, eh? <laughs> in the soccer community and uh yeah he's um it's uh like you said i wish it, you know it, it feels like there should be more going on like you know but uh with the World Cup, because I, I just don't think it's, uh, you know, it has the same, um, you know, power that it has the rest of the, the world. But that's what that's what we're uh, striving for. That's what this is all about. Is uh, this, you know, with the men, the women have been doing it for years now, mm -hmm. and uh, now it's men's turn to kind of put it in the forefront. So maybe more kids will decide to play soccer instead of hockey, and maybe you know, and get the, you know, get us higher than number forty or forty-one where we are right now. It's so good. Say, we, sorry, sorry go ahead, we've heard go. from a lot of people that uh, we haven't connected with in a while, and we're a lot of our friends and family are learning all about soccer that didn't really even know the sport. So we're growing it right from the core here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and well, that's great because you are a soccer family. It's so good to hear from both of you this morning. Safe travels to you, and enjoy yourself, and uh, look forward to uh, watching your son play. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks Thanks take care. Us. All right. Bye bye.